Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. I am going to share with you some of the things that I got from the Amazon Day Prime Day. And some of these, a lot of these things will be repurchases. These are things I buy all the time, so I kind of stand behind them. Um, and some will be new. So let's just get started. And I have quite a few more things coming in the next few days, but since I need to use these, I'm just gonna start here. So just know that there's gonna be more that I'm showing as the video goes along. So the first thing that I'm not gonna open up is this Winnie the Pooh postcard set. And the reason I'm not opening it up is because it's my second set. Um, in August, I'm hoping to do a vintage children's book themed um, pen pal packs in my Patreon group. And so I knew there would probably be a high demand for um, that, that uh, theme. And so I wanted to have 200 postcards to work with so I can have extras. And these are so cute. And if you wanna see a flip through, um, I will list below my last Amazon journaling supply haul. And you can check all of these out, but here's some. They are absolutely adorable. So I had to get that. Uh, there was only like one available at the time and hopefully they'll be back in stock in case anyone else wants to grab some. Um, let's go for it. This, I got these teeny tiny glassine bags. Um, I put a tag in that one just by the way. There's 500 here and I keep meaning to pull up prices as I'm filming because a few of you said that would be helpful, but I never think to do it because I'm filming on my phone. Well, anyways, these were a good price, um, but they're teeny tiny and I just thought that they were really cute. Um, so to go along with these, I bought a 200 pack of these little mini tags, which I just thought would be so cute for journals because they would be the perfect size to and maybe write down a date or a name or just like one little memory. I mean, you'd have to write pretty small for like a memory, but I think that you could get creative. You could even do the smallest teeny collage on this and that would be so cute. And I was thinking that these were a bit closer to the size of the glassine bags, which you can see they're pretty small, but they could still fit in here and they're really cute. Um, and this glassine bag also could hold other small little bits and pieces like for instance, maybe like, uh, maybe not quite. I was thinking these little postage stamps, maybe not those, but you know, like little ephemera pieces. I'm just going to grab one here. Like this is like a little label. So I think this would be a cute way to document, um, something in your journal. So we've got those. And then the last thing that I got today, um, was this entire pack of tickets and it is a lot. I'm trying to see if there's like a number on here. Um, sorry, there's lots of background noise because my whole family's home, but let's open up a few of these if we can, just to see if they're repeats. I, I like that there's all, it appears that there's like all different themes in this pack. So this would be a good selection for really like anyone. Um, just because it would be, I think it would be a good thing to go into like your stash, you know what I mean? And you can use these, say if you're doing a botanical journal, but then you still have some that are blank and you can be used as labels. Um, I saw fairies in here as well. These are cute. And then I like how they come in ticket strips. Um, I would maybe collage on these or um, you could fold them into like little booklets. So it looks like they have quite a few different themes. These are really pretty. They almost look like vintage uh, wallpaper. Yeah, they do. Um, it would probably take a long time to go all through here, but these are much prettier than I thought because I do feel like when you buy packs like this on Amazon, sometimes I'll like majority of the pack but then there's like a few that have really weird, like questionable like phrases or, you know, like weird pictures that are just kind of weird. And I'm always fine with it if I like majority of the set, but so far this looks like a really good set. And these, oh, I didn't realize these are like flower fairies. I don't know if they're, I don't, I'm going to guess they're not exactly flower fairies, but these are really cute little like, yeah, I like this. I might save these for um, my August Patreon mail. I'm not exactly sure. Well, anyways, I think you can get an idea of these. I do like the blank ones too, because I like that they have a background. Um, they're not just super plain. 
these are really pretty as well. There you go. So yeah, um, the last thing I got on this haul is a second pack of these postcards right here. Um, I just needed to have some extras on hand for when I get like new members. I just needed something, I guess, more generic, I guess you could say. Um, and these are just like vintage, kind of travel-y style. Yeah, okay, well, I wanna make sure this isn't too long since there's gonna be a few parts to this video. But thank you, uh, let's just wait for the mailman to come and deliver us some more goodies. Okay, I've got the next part of my shipment. While a couple of these things are boring, I have a couple exciting things. So let's just show you first. I have two repurchases and it's envelopes. Not everyone's needing envelopes or it's not even really that interesting, but I just show them to you because I keep repurchasing. These are really good quality envelopes. There's a hundred in here. Um, they have the adhesive, which I just love, and I really like the straight edge uh, flap here. So there's those. I've bought those probably 50 times. <laughs> I needed some 4x6, and these are a little bigger than 4x6, but this is a colorful pack, and it's also 100. Uh, sorry, maybe this one was 50. I'll, I'll have the link below either way, and it's just a bunch of different... Uh, Colors, you can see I already got started putting my address labels on those because I need to use them the right way. But the more interesting thing are these things right here. This is a 50 pack of like handmade decal edge paper. I just don't always have the time to make everything fully handmade, but I'm planning to maybe do some type of stamping or inking. I'm not sure, but you guys will see when it comes to it. This is really good quality paper. Um, I've bought this actually before. It's also a repurchase. It's a nice, like pretty thick, but also foldable um, weight. And these are four by six pieces. So these would fit perfect inside like a regular envelope. So you don't have to fold it, which I like. But I also, like I said, I might end up stamping on them and maybe like um, I would do like this size and make little journaling cards with stamping um, for my August Patreon mail. I'm not sure, but anyways, I like to give you guys the ideas or what my idea is for using these things. Next was this full pack of butterfly um, stickers. Let's just go ahead and while I'm talking, I'll open. So this was all just one pack here and you get all kinds of different themes, which I like if you're trying to get all the exact same thing, then this might not work for you. But I believe and hope that all of these are clear type of stickers. Wow, these are actually gorgeous because while I love all kinds of butterfly stickers, my favorite are not the ones with the white um, border. I'll still use them, but now that I've learned that I really prefer the clear, um, I look for those a little bit more and they can be a little bit harder to find or maybe even a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, so let's just, so you can get a good idea. So it looks like they're kind of set up by color, color theme. I think I might have a couple more things coming, um, during this shopping video. And if not, um, then I'll probably stop it after this, but here we go. These ones are also really pretty. Love the blues and pinks and purples. I actually think that I may have got one of these packs inside of a, maybe a mail subscription or something like that. So these ones are a little bit more like black with the different colors. I'll probably end up mixing mine, although I'm obsessed with these ones right here. So, um, ooh, let's color, let's open these ones. These are like greens and lime. These are really pretty. I like these a lot. I can already tell I'm going to be buying this set again because I'm going to be using a lot of these in my Patreon mail and I just want to have some on hand for my own projects. Although I feel like, you know, we're funny, us crafters. I only need like a few of these on hand for my projects because really, like, let's think about it. How, how many am I really actually going to use on a project? And it's probably going to be like five, five within a year, I bet honestly. But in my head, since I think they're all pretty, I think that I need to have them all available, which I, you know, it's just the way, it's just the way we think. Now I will say I am very happy that I have so many people that I can make things for and actually use these types of items on, <laughs> but you know, 
not everyone has like 120 um, people that they send mail to every day. These ones are really pretty too, kind of more of a natural butterfly color. But honestly, I gotta say, this is a really good set right here. I love the co different colors. These ones actually look like dragonflies, so um, I didn't know there was dragonflies in them. I don't mind it at all. I still actually like would use dragonfly as much as I would probably butterflies. So there's those. Okay, so that's everything. Um, like I said, unless I have something else coming, I'll show it in a moment. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next. Bye guys.